Hi, I did some experimenting with crystal coating on 3D printed surfaces. What I wanted to find out is how to fit different shapes and colors together. So the simplest model I was thinking of was this yin yang symbol. So I went ahead, started by downloading a picture from Google and converted it to an STL file with one of the online converters out there. Then I threw it into Thinkercad for some edits. This two part symbol and this cup we will talk about later. I am working with citric acid in this project because it produces very nice crystals very fast and fast I mean a bit more than a week I needed for this result. I saturate the solution then I slowly cool it down. I recommend you watching my previous video on crystal growing for more detailed guide. So I printed the shapes and I immediately found the first problem. The plastic parts are floating. I solved that with gluing a spoon to the bottom of the print which is heavy enough to keep it submerged. The second problem I found that the crystals are not sticking enough to the relatively flat surface. So I went ahead and printed a grid, glued it to the shape, which worked fine. I colored the citric acid solution with vegetable carbon. Here you see the first day of crystal growing, looks really nice. And the next days, you see there's a spot there with smaller crystals. It's because it's poked out from the solution. And the reason for that is that I used the stone to weigh it down, but the stone dissolved in the citric acid solution. As the white paint, I used titanium dioxide, which is also a food coloring. Look at what happens when I add the paint. I would appreciate if somebody could explain this, why this happens. But this paint didn't work as well. The particles sink fast to the bottom and doesn't really integrate into the crystal. So we come to the cups. You see, I want a nice fit for the colors. That's why I print these long cups. I found a way to easily remove them. I just pour a little bit of water on the back side and it's dissolved just enough around the cup that after waiting a few minutes you can just push it out easily. Now I cut myself here because when I was setting a cup free the crystals cut my finger and I started to bleed all over the place. Yes, be careful, it can happen. The third problem I found is that because of the crystals grew over the edge the two shapes does not fit together anymore. I should make a rim for these shapes and then when it's done remove it. But now I have to remove the crystals where the parts meet and make them fit together somehow. Here I remove the cup as much as I could without destroying the crystals. Also I printed the support which fixes the parts together. I should have printed it with white filament and glue it all together. Pretty much done. I hope you try it at home. Bye!